Column input allows us to tell SAS which columns to read and gives more control for getting data into SAS. Column input is different than list input. Here is one example where column input is demonstrated. So here we have first name, last name, gender, and we have three readings for each person. The readings are systolic blood pressure. And suppose we want SAS to read the first and last name as one variable. Because there is a space between first and last name, which is what's called a space delimiter, list input will not work and we must use column input to define the columns. So regarding column input, that takes place right here on line three in the input statement. So looking back at this a notepad file, we have name, first and last name, that goes under the name variable and we're going to follow that with a dollar sign because it's a character type variable, it's just letters. And what we want to do is we want to see how many columns the longest name is. So that's going to be Maria Star, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 columns long. So we're going to tell SAS to read from column 1 to 12 so it can get in all of the names, first and last, into the name variable. Next variable is gender, and we follow that with a dollar sign because it's character variable, just letters. And the numbers here, we have trial one, trial two, and trial three. Now if I run this, we're going to get what we wanted, first and last name under name variable, gender, trial one, trial two, and trial three. Now to demonstrate, if I was to change the 12 to a 10, SAS is only going to read up to the 10th column. So if I run this, you see that we're missing some letters in the names here because if we look at the data file, it's only reading 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's only reading up to the 10th column and everything else gets cut off along the way. So it's important to look at the data file and understand the length of the column so you get all the data in. Okay, so I changed this back to a 12. Now let's say that we wanted to just read part of this data file. Say that we just want to read in females. What we do is after the input statement we put in this line, if gender equals M in quotation, single quotation, then delete, followed by semicolon. What that's going to do is every time SAS encounters this M under the gender variable, it's going to omit the entire data line from the output. So I'll run it. You can see here that the male is omitted. Now another way that we can read part of the data file is by using what's called the line hold specifier, the trailing at symbol. So the way that's going to look is as follows. We're going to have this. We have for the input, the first input statement, we have name, uh, character variable, columns 1 to 12, gender, character variable, and then the trailing at line hold specifier. I'm going to explain what that is in a minute. So notice there's two input statements, one up here and one down here. What happens is SAS is going to see this first line and it's going to hold it. It's going to read the name for columns 1 to 12, gender, and then this line hold specifier says to hold this entire line and then this if statement is going to test that line. If gender is equal to M, it's going to delete the entire record and it's not going to appear in the output. After that, if it deletes it on, if it deletes the record on the if statement, it does not get to step five. And what we get in the results is all the females. So it's essentially the same thing we've done before, except that we've used this line hold specifier. Now also note how many variables we have. We have name, gender, trial one, trial two, trial three, which is the five variables. And here, we have to make sure to scroll to the right to see the final trial. 
and that's one, two, three, four, five variables, just like we had in the code. And if you have any questions or comments, you can post in the comment section below. I'll be making more videos on SAS software, so be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you for watching.